Well, I'm from Virginia. Drove down from Virginia to North Carolina for the Saturday. Then stopped in North Carolina and drove down here Sunday. Uh, accidentally hit a tire in the middle of the road. Popped out my lower grill, but happened to have a good buddy to let me borrow a lower grill. Yeah, from uh, Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. From Niagara Falls to Robbinsville, we trailered it. And then from Robbinsville to Myrtle Beach, we drove it. I've been to five. And I've done or three. Or six. Last year was my first time, this year's my second. Well, I was here in 2018, uh, came down for Mustang Week. I didn't have my car ready at the time and uh, actually got chased out by Hurricane Dorian. Was here three days, so I kind of ended the trip fast and I always wanted to come back and just with COVID and everything going on, it didn't take place. This was the time to be here and wanted to come up and wanted to show my kid what it was all about and uh, my wife. It was all planned out. We planned it out as soon as we knew the dates and stuff, planned it out, took time off work and just came up because of the love for Mustangs. All right, so basically this was a friend of mine that he started a small business, uh, Temple Performance Cars, and he built 13 cars. Um, I handed him the keys in 2005, said, hey, I want one of your cars, and we made his kit and did everything we could except supercharge it. The scoops, the front chin splitter, the spoiler, uh, there was a grill on it. Unfortunately, I had to take that out and put the factory one back in, um, and Carroll Shelby CS67 wheels and of course the wife's car. So actually at first I hated the body style. Um, they finally grew on me and decided I wanted one, went and traded the little car I had and went from there. Anything and everything you can think of suspension wise, um, I've got a Roush Stage 2 supercharger on it and spoiler, chin splitter, the wheels, a little bit of everything. I've had it dynoed once, it was 6.605 to the wheel. Right now I have a 3.7 liter V6 engine paired with an AMR turbo kit, got FIC 1000 injectors with a DW400 fuel pump, uh, NGK spark plugs, gapped at uh, 0.028. It was a little different. I didn't know much about cars at the time and I just bought it. Uh, started watching videos every day, saw the turbo kit and went with the turbo kit. Right now I'm on RTR lowering springs with a one piece drive shaft, BMR safety loop, 355 rear gears, uh, that's about it. Pretty much stripped on the inside from the back seat back. I haven't dynoed yet, but hopefully between 450 and 500 on 7 pounds, 93 octane. That was my dream car ever since it came out. 2013 when they got the, the first Gotta Have a Green Mustang came out and it was something that was on my bucket list. I just wanted to buy it. I actually didn't, I just bought the car recently. I found the car in February. I went and picked it up and then I did all the work in February. From February to now is when I did all the upgrades and all the updating on it. It was bone stock. So I've got a VMP Odin supercharger on it. It's got Kooks long tube headers. It's got an off-road H pipe. It's got Corsa axle back exhaust. It's lowered uh, two inches in the back, inch and three quarters in the front. Uh, it's got aftermarket tail lights. It's got aftermarket headlights. It's got custom leather interior with green match stitching. It's got the gotta have a green uh, shifter ball from CJ Pony Parts. It's got the shifter from CJ Pony Parts. It's got the aftermarket push button start, and the list goes on and on. Eventually, there's a store getting built near me with E85. Gonna go E85 and push for 600 wheel. I've thought about going Coyote, but I may just save up and get a 5.2. They just sound so great. Uh, Coyotes make great power, but the sound of a Voodoo is just unmatched. So what's next for me is uh, eventually I want to do uh, like a Gen 3 build. Put the uh, VMP on a Gen 3 and probably try to make 1,000 horsepower. Right now it's making 690 to the wheels. It's bittersweet. Um, and I really hope that somebody will eventually pick it up, maybe in another location one day. Uh, we've been to quite a few and we absolutely love it. There's, we've never been to anything like this before and I always enjoy coming back, so I hope something comes up eventually. Hopefully someone buys out Mustang Week, but I don't want to see it in. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> like I, I'm a Mustang guy and I'd be here every year if I could, if you know, time allowed and stuff like that, and if I was off of work and I can come here for Mustang Week, I'm gonna follow it wherever it goes. I, I feel that this isn't the end, that somebody's gonna take it over, and when they do, I'm gonna follow right along with them.